Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series. We are jumping in again and I randomised as the Lost last time. No, did I? Okay, no. I don't know why that's there, but I guess that means we're playing the Lost. I honestly don't know. I, I must have tapped that before I started recording. I apologise, but it's it's picked the Lost, so we're playing as the Lost. Now, I haven't played as this guy in a while. I don't know if we'll end up being able to keep our streak. Our streak is at three at the minute, so I'm hoping so. And basic lost isn't too bad. He can be a little tricky if you don't get good items, because he doesn't start with those extra stats. Painkillers is a pretty good one. Uh, we can prevent damage by holding pills. I think that's uh, potential for, like, double holy mantle action. I don't actually know how that's going to work, but... I'm intrigued to find out, to say the least. But yeah, this guy doesn't start with bit the bonus stats, so we kind of want to get good items. I think Holy Water is perfectly acceptable off the bat here. It's going to make bossing a little easier in certain situations. And that is one of my favorite items in the game. I love Isaws, so I'll definitely take that. I just, it's one of those items, if it increases the amount of tears I fire, I am going to be living the high life. But for the question of the day today, what is your biggest disappointment in gaming? What is your biggest disappointment? For me, I've got a few examples. Um, I've got a few different sort of ones that come to mind. Most recently, I'd say Battlefield 2042, as most people probably know, that game was a pretty disappointing launch. But I was really looking forward to that game. I'd, um, I'd played the thingy, um, played the beta, and I really enjoyed the beta. But I didn't actually realise that the beta was like all the content in the game. I thought the beta was like 20% of what was going to be in the game. It was just kind of a look. Here's some of the guns. Here's some of the things. Here's one of the maps. And it was like, no, no, no. This is all the guns and all the things and one of the maps. It's like, oh, oh, right. So there's nothing in the game then. Like, you've made you've made like 20% of a real game. Well done. Um, Yeah, it was kind of annoying. And then as well, another one kind of recently was... Wonderlands. That game is fantastic, by the way. That is not my disappointment. But unfortunately, the, the DLC for that game has been rather disappointing so far. And I bought the season pass for that. Because Borderlands DLC, for those of you that haven't played Borderlands before, Borderlands has some of the best DLC ever. But unfortunately for Wonderlands, they just did more Chaos Chamber stuff that's like 10, 15 minute little stories that were just like, eh. They're just not amazing. They could have done so much more. And it's like, it is difficult to, to come into something expecting more. Like, I... I do realise they already... Ooh, this guy is tough. Uh, I do realise they already put in a, a hell of a lot of effort, and I can't really ask for much more, because Wonderlands is a pretty fantastic game, but it's this guy is going for a while. But at the same time, it's kind of like... Oh, but, like, I've seen the DLC you've done before, and it's so good. <laughs> ooh, eye drops is another thing to fire more tears. This is, this is some good stuff. Um, and it's just like, oh, but, like, it could have been so much more... The Borderlands 2 DLCs are just some of the best DLCs I've ever played. They are absolutely incredible. So it's just kind of sad that we don't have uh, don't have great DLCs for that game too. Black Candle here is rather nice. Get that, get rid of those curses. Getting, having a Soul of Eden here is really good too. Try not to get hit by these goddamn boys. Nice, nice. <sighs> but yeah, I think I think like. Sort of one, like, example from, like, co like community example that I can think of. Ooh, that's kind of an interesting one. One kind of community example I can think of that I think a lot of people will probably resonate with is Cyberpunk. I actually really loved Cyberpunk when it came out in the state it was in. Um, and I know that now it's in a much better state. In fact, one of my friends played it recently when the next-gen update came out for console. And he said that he played it relatively bug-free and had a really good time with it. But I had a really good time with it when it first came out. Um, I, I did experience some bugs and some glitches and some issues, but... I still thoroughly enjoyed my time with that game, and I'm definitely going to do another playthrough now that it's been updated a bit more, because um, I think it's a, a thoroughly brilliant game. Um, that I'm not saying it doesn't deserve the negative press that it got. It definitely does deserve some of it, but it, 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 it got written off as a terrible game by a lot of people, and I don't really think that's the case. I think it is still a very good game. Um, and one thing as well, this is just like a general rant that I want to go on here. That's not a great item. I'll take this. Firemind is spicy. Fire mind is spicy, but I quite like it. Um, yeah, this is sort of just a general rant about gaming that I kind of want to go on here. One thing that I see happen a lot, like way too much, is when people blame the developers for a game. That was, okay, this could go horribly wrong, and I have no bombs to support me here either. This, this is going to be pretty tricky here. 
I need to use these rocks next to me as a, as a cover. The spinny dudes don't matter too much. Just don't blow up. Okay, good. We're good, we're good. At least we get some luck out of that. Probably should have Soul of Eden that and re-rolled these, but we don't need to because we got Incubus. More tears. Fire Mind is definitely going to get me killed, but more tears. Um, but yeah, one thing I see a lot is when a game has shortcomings like Cyberpunk, they immediately go like, oh, the fucking devs of this game are so shit. No. Oh, the game crashed. One moment, one moment. Okay, we are back. We are back. I've redone the floor and continued. Okay, wait, no, we're not. Oh my god. One second, again. Fuck sake. Okay, we are actually back now. Apologies. Okay. I had to give myself some of the stuff that I had back through console, because otherwise it wouldn't let me progress, but is what it is. I'll, okay, I was just say I'll reroll that and see what I get, but nothing. Okay, so I, I still, I'm still apprehensive of fire mind here, but yeah, I can't remember what I was saying now. I think I was talking about, like, the way that, oh, sorry, I had to repeat the floor, so I need to, um, disable quick kill. There you go. Apologies, I've cheated one room, don't sue me. I had quick kill on the last floor because it kept restarting me at the very start of the floor. I didn't have to replay through the whole thing, so I just enabled quick kill to get to the end quicker. Um, what's what's left in this room? Okay. Um, yeah, it just it annoys me so much when people blame the developers, and it's just like it's not the developers' fault at all. Oh, got his tail. Interesting. Yeah, it's not the developers' fault at all. It's the people above them. The developers just don't get given adequate enough time and resources to make what they want to make. They're not the ones that are choosing to release it. Cyberpunk was not released in a bad state because the, de the developers were incompetent. In fact, the developers are pretty amazing. The case is, it was released early because the investors wanted to make their money there and then and couldn't wait until next year. So they had them release the game in time for Christmas that year instead of waiting one extra year and having a much more polished product because they knew that people would still buy it. And guess what? They did. So they, they made a bunch of money off of it. It's just like, that's just the way it works. Wait, can we upgrade Incubus? That we can. Damage up. Beautiful. Damage up on the Incubus is good with me. Yeah, and it is, it, that's just unfortunately the way gaming goes. Uh, I see it a lot in, I play a lot of Warzone, probably more than a lot of you expect. I think I've spoken about it before, but yeah, I do play a lot of Call of Duty Warzone. And I, I've always been a Call of Duty player and a first person shooter player. And I love Battle Royale, so Warzone was like a big get for me when it first came out. And I still play it a lot with my friend. Um, and I, I frequent the subreddit of that game. I frequent the subreddit of a lot of the games that I'm big fans of. Just to get updates on the game, see cool content, stuff like that. And my god... That must be the biggest group of incels I've ever seen, because the, all they do is complain about the developers specifically. I might die here. This is kind of a hard boss, to be fair. Um, yeah, all they do is complain about the developers. All they do is complain about the, the game and the developers. And it's like, it's not the developers' fault at all. You're all wrong. Oh, wait, we still got an angel deal here? I'm confused. Why did we... Okay, so I kind of cheated, but... Don't blame me. So, if you're wondering what the hell just happened there, I didn't go to the devil deal because that's what was crashing my game and instead went to the next floor and gave myself Incubus. So the game technically classed it as me never going to a devil deal and I got an angel deal and I got Godhead. <laughs> so, it is what it is, I guess. It is what it is. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. Anyways, we'll continue on and just pretend like everything is normal and fine. Uh, yeah, and it, it just it just frustrates me so much. People that don't understand game development that are speaking about it like they do, and it's just like, shut up. You have no idea what you're talking about. That was close. Like, you have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Please stop. This could be a very bad idea. I wonder if we're going to... Like I guess say, I wonder if we're going to get any bosses... I don't know what some of the eternal bosses do, so it is a bit scary. This is a three-way of room, though, this, isn't it? Okay, that wasn't so bad, actually. God had helped me. But yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just very annoying. And I'm sure many of you um, are much the same as me, where you see people that are complaining about stuff, and they don't get it. It's like, one thing in, in modding that will forever be the bane of a modder's existence is when people go like, Oh, can you just make this mod for me? And I'm like, no. Go away. Make it yourself. And like, I don't know how. It's like, well, learn then. 
Stop asking random people that you don't know to make something for you. And it's like, I definitely do that sometimes. In fact, I've had like three mods that I that I love and had a great idea for get made into into mods. But it's there's 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 three sort of basic reasons for why that's happened. One is of course because I'm a YouTuber or because I have some sort of popularity in the game. Like people know me in in the game. Uh, like around the game community, so I have a little bit more pull in certain situations, but that's not a lot. I I, I I am not a very big YouTuber. I'm not super popular or anything, but yeah. So that that's a small part of it. I'd say that's probably the smallest part of it, if anything. Um, then another part is uh, the fact that the the developer might actually genuinely like the idea that I've had, which I hope is the case most of the time. Um, and the third thing is. Normally, the ideas that I have are grounded in reality. They are plausible for the developer to do. And especially if I'm asking someone that's more skilled than I am to do it, it's because I know that it's not going to be a lot of work for them. It's not going to be something that's really hard. I don't think gulping d d does anything for us there, but I'll do it anyways. Um, yeah, I'm not asking, like, things that are just ridiculous and out of the, out, out of the question sort of thing, which some people do. Does Firemind get upgraded by bomb items? I don't believe it does, but that would be pretty cool. It does not. That would have been awesome if it did. Yeah, it's just... I feel like a lot of people come in with these big ideas that they have absolutely no idea how to make work. Or no idea if it's even possible. And they just expect people to make them for them. And it's just like, that's, that's just not how it works. Like... If I'm going to come to someone, like, I came to, um, for example, I came to Pedroff with an idea for um, for a mod, which was the um, improved haunted chests and spike chests. But I went to him with the idea, along with another mod that does something similar. Uh, I'm going to take this. Another mod that does something similar. Uh, it was, I think it's called Amazing Chests Ahead. Uh, that person frequents the video, so thank you for the idea. Um, theirs, theirs was well, kind of similar. It did, add, it did add haunted chest item pools, but it also added a bunch of other stuff that I personally wasn't a fan of. So I wanted to make that mod as a separate thing. And then I kind of got the idea off of that to do spike chests as well. Um, and I came to them and said, here's this mod that does it similar. Um, you can take a look at the code for this mod and we can adapt and tweak it based on this. And it shouldn't be too hard because of this, this, and this. I kind of came at it with a, a logical reason for why it should work and that it shouldn't be too hard. And I didn't say, hey, Pedroff, do this for me. I was like, hey, I've got this idea. I don't really have the time to learn how to do it myself. It if you will want to, it'd be cool to work with you on this sort of thing. But I didn't ever sort of say, do this for me. I can't do it and I can't be asked to learn, so do it for me now. Um, Has all penny trinket effects. Oh, God. Um, yes. Does that include modded ones? It probably includes Cursed Penny though, right? Um, but yeah, uh, and then again with, with Prian, I came to him with the idea for Lilith gaining, um, tear effects all the time. She, she always has, her familiars always gain tear effects. And the only reason I came to him with that idea is because he'd literally made a trinket that did that exact thing already. Like, if, he, if that wasn't the case, I would definitely would not have come to him asking that. But because I knew it was already fully within the realms of possibility, and in fact would be potentially very, very easy, I was like, cool, yeah, let's go for it. I'm going to reroll. I'm going to reroll again. Okay, let's, let's see if we can pay out you guys a little bit. You cost seven each time. Was it six? I think it's seven. I yeah, definitely don't want mass, but I, I wanted Saturnus, but Saturnus is one of those items with their uh, fire mind that could so easily kill us. What you got for me, fella? Bercano. What? <laughs> that guy can give you echo chamber? Why? <laughs> Oh, that's silly. That is just silly, but I love it.
Right, one more room. We'll go back and try and re-roll again. Back, back, back we go. Celestial body. I'll take it. Why not? Golden bomb. Nice. Probably pick that up before I pick these up, right? And then we'll see if we can get this guy to pay out. Probably not, but we'll try. Yera. Yera's pretty good. Awaz. Let me just grab that Awaz and um, go into this room here and use it here. There you go. Look at that. Beautiful. I'm not sure if this is the best way to do this, but this is the way I'm doing it. That's a nice fire upgrade there, that is. Considering fire mines have main damage anyways, that doesn't really matter. And one more go on this guy. Pethra. Okay, let's go. Let's go get our item room real quick. Yeah, we're firing a lot of tears now. <laughs> Careful of all of those bombs dropping. Come on, dude. Here we go. Judgment. Cash room, what do you hold for us? Nothing much. We do have like a triple use Yera here, which is kind of interesting. I'm trying to think of where that would be most useful for this guy. I don't actually know. I have a pair throw locked in as well currently, I think. That's a lot of tears. Mask of Infamy is not something I want to be uh, re-rolling at all, so I think I'll be fine, thank you. We actually have enough to play um, our thingy again, our Stargazer, so I will attempt that. Hey, sir, lift your head up for us. God damn, we have so many things to protect us right now. So we have Holy Mantle baked in, then we have the pill thing, where if we're holding a pill, we, uh, we can negate damage. Then we have Mask of Infamy. Then we have the Soul. We have a lot of protective layers right now. Quite nice. Quite nice. Just grab this penny real quick. Play you one last time. Anzus. Got that beggar in there too. I was hoping for like one more penny out of that guy. Just so I could play this Stargazer one more time. Is there any way in here I can get another penny? Maybe actually, maybe. I do have golden bombs right now. Ech. Heck. Okay, you guys aren't going to dive towards me. You're not going to be able to. My god, the amount of tears on the screen is insane. We'll leave that to potentially reroll. Do you know what? I'll take that. Why not? Ah, bugger. Right, we go. This has been a decent run so far, though. I still think we have a very high chance of dying. I think the amount of tears we're firing plus the hive mind situation is going to lead to some uh, pretty saucy stuff. Crawl space, nice. The first time I've got a crawl system one of these in ages. Forget me now. I think I can take a forget me now. I know reroll is pretty good, but I'm pretty happy with a forget me now. That could be pretty damn useful. Right, what you got for us? Health. No thank you.
Devil deal. I will take this because I can't use the other one anyways. And that's uh, one closer to a guppy and a potential revive. It's two for two. Three for three. Ah, bugger. Oh my god, as long as the enemies are far, far enough away from us, this does demolish. Yes, as long as I was getting uh, extra keys back, I'm pretty happy. Like, enemies far enough away there. Easy. That's not secret room. That looks so inviting, though. Quickly hop back in and out. And that's a lot of keys. Kind of exactly what I was looking for. That, this this makes me want to go back and get my reroll real quick. Because uh, we've got a good few things that need rerolling here. Okay. Let's take a quick trip back. And we'll come back for you, uh, forget me now. Because right now, we are in need of rerolls. Does this have a charge in it currently? It doesn't. Okay, we are going to have to charge it. But we have two different places where we can just reroll health. I think it's pretty necessary. It's just something we gotta do. Alright, quickly check this out. That's a lot of money. Nice. We do have all the... So, I think the way that it's like you've got all the penny trinkets is just that it can trigger any one of them randomly. Nice. We also got a dice shard there as well. We opened up a red room here. There's a charge as well there. So, I think we dice shard first... Just to make sure it's a guaranteed reroll. Do not walk into that. That will kill us. Dice. Um. Hmm. Little Loki. I think I'm going to reroll Little Loki. I think I'm going to reroll Smartfly, I'll be honest. Do you know what? I'm going to. I'm just going to quickly move this, like, way out of the way of the door. Just because I feel like I'm definitely going to walk into it. And I really don't want to. Um, okay. Wanna hold our Yera? That's fine. What, what was it I wanted over here? Oh, the charge key. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm remembering now. Okay, then we go back this way. Reroll this one more time. Do you know what? There you go. Sack of pennies. Why not? I'm not rerolling it again. I can't be bothered. The effort is too damn high. We go back this way. We do one last reroll over here. And then I'm just going to take Forget Me Now. Because I can't be bothered messing around. That's great. Every time we get a kill, we gain plus two fire rate that quickly fades. And by quickly, it means very slowly. It's an incredibly good item. Nice. One thing I did just sort of think of. Yeah, we do have a sewing machine here, so we can upgrade you for another damage up. Wait, what? Excuse me. Um, Incubus. Why are you stuck? Oh, it costs soul hearts. What the hell? I thought it cost money. I am confusion. I didn't even realize there was a version of that that could cost, um, that could cost soul hearts. That's kind of interesting, though, I guess. Still not really found a good use for our Yera yet. I'm just going to kind of hold tight, hold tight onto it and see, because I might be able to go to, like, the chest and just get a ridiculous amount of chests. And we're getting a lot of keys. <laughs> oh, hello. Opened all the doors there. 
Beautiful. Guppy's tail is pr proving to be very, very good. I'm hoping we uh, finish off our Guppy transformation here soon as well. That would be rather good. Go another chest. Just look at this, the amount of money and stuff. And then there's even more chests here. I'm just liking the amount of keys we have. I think I'll probably forget me now on this floor, to be honest. Damn, we're only at 17 minutes, too. This has been quick. This is definitely one of the rooms that I could very easily die on. Because if she hits me randomly, like footsteps me. Okay, it doesn't matter. I was going to say without me noticing, but it really doesn't matter now. I'll grab that. Check this out. Oh, I've already been in here. Okay, I forgot about that. Um, unfortunately, we've got some hot, stinky doo-doo in here. I mean, I might as well take that and then just get out of here. I realize I probably should just try and do boss rush, but I'm not that interested with this setup. I think I will definitely die if I try it. Euthanasia is incredible with this amount of luck and um, yeah with this amount of luck got a cracked key there okay and this amount of shots on screen I think Euthanasia is going to be pretty incredible Two of hearts. Don't think that's super relevant. We got another planetarium. What? Is that something that's supposed to be able to happen? We are now missing our reroll though, so we get what we're given, unfortunately. We get what we're given. Honestly, Luna's pretty good. I'll take Luna. And we got burn bombs too. We got some interesting bombs going on right now. We got ghost fire burn bombs. Which is a strange sentence to say, but that is what we have. Right. Back through shop should be kind of valuable here. Yeah. Tarot cloth is good stuff. What else can you reward us with? I think Deep Pockets is pretty good too. What does this do on Depths 2? Depths 2 is 20 coins. I mean, it is literally free. So, yes. And also the amount of procs we can get off of this is potentially kind of good. Keep us going. Placebo Pill. I will take that just under the pretenses of it potentially being incredible. It might not end up being, but... I think placebo could be really good. Do we have any pills anywhere? We do. We have a pill all the way over there. Let's go and try it out. Wait, where the hell have I gone right now? Where the hell am I? I'm confused. Oh, I went into the red room, I think. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I was very confused where I was right then. Right, let's try out this placebo pill. It couldn't have been terrible. <laughs> it quite literally is terrible. Okay, keep moving on one second. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't great. Also, deep pockets is gonna be kinda nice here. Oh my lord, that was a lot of stuff. Yeah, deep pockets plus this penny trinket. I feel like could be a very good combo. I still don't quite understand what the penny trinket does or how it works. I think it is just a random penny effect each time I pick up a penny, but I can't say for sure. Now we've got Luna as well, which is awesome. Just 
See if we get a magic mush out of this. I know I can. I believe, I believe. Damn it. I believed in a thing called love, and it didn't work. What we need now is more shot speed. Our shot speed's relatively slow. Okay, maybe I should have just gone for the, uh, gone for a few trinkets there, but I'm actually pretty happy with the trinket setup I've got right now. Tiny term is pretty good here. And whatever boss you are, uh, mum. I don't know why I thought it'd be anything other than mum. So yeah, like I said, I could still die on this boss. This boss is notorious for uh, being a bit tricky, but with the fire, I can kill quite quick. And uh, do we go devil or angel deal here? I should have taken negative. I already have the Polaroid. Uh, I'll, I'll go angel deal. We'll see what we get. And that's pretty good. And okay, we have to take the sigil. The sigil is just too good not to take. The penny trinket's good, but the sigil, the sigil's pretty incredible. Right, on our way. On our way we go. Okay, mainly the mind is good because, like, with Luna, we're going to get all of our secret rooms now. Also, it makes our costume look kind of incredible, which I love. Well, look at us. We look amazing. Look like a style icon. Oh, I'm liking the fact that Celestial Body includes the uh, the modded uh, planetarium item trinkets. Uh, items, even. Not trinkets. I don't know why it's not trinkets. Excuse me? Ah, oh, you bitch. I was like, what just happened? And then I realized I'm dumb. I act so I used my I used my card, but the D uh, the, the the dice shard was in there, and the dice shard has the D twenty in it. So goodbye, my Yero rune. That's very upsetting. Very upsetting indeed. There's nothing in here. Okay. But, hello, red key. Hello, red key. Okay, I'm pretty happy with red key. I will take that. That's kind of useful. It's kind of not, but it is kind of useful. It does seem that, unfortunately, it doesn't dupe... It, it doesn't uh, utilize the... Uh, tarot cloth effect of the cards when they're used through echo chamber which is kind of fair but also a little sad okay blow you up and get you out of the way just so i can get that want my fire it please wait this room was never over what happened Apparently, I left the room before it finished. What's happening? Why? So why is the room not over? I think I think if you if you euthanasia one of the burns from those clickety clacks, it glitches out and doesn't trigger it as dead, so the other one can never officially die. So you have to then euthanasia the second one to finish the room. I think that's why the other room never finished too. Nice. I think we're holding off on red key for now. Eee, nice. Damn it. Terrible soul stone, sadly. Oh my god, the amount of fire we're going to create here. Just a little bit of luck to top us off here. Let's go. This is just such a fucking incredible run. The sigil is is the icing on the cake. 
Lucky Saucer? I don't think Lucky Saucer really matters for us. Hey, there you go. Nice. Wasn't expecting that. Red Stew? Why the hell not? Let's just keep blasting through with that crazy high damage now. I mean, Godhead definitely is helping too. Although I wouldn't have called Godhead the savior of the room, really. It's just been good. Ah! One of my rooms. Walk in and get intense lag. Okay, go to these last two secret rooms. Ooh, let's be careful. Let's be careful. I actually don't want that now. Oh, euthanasia on those enemies. It's satisfying. The amount of fire rate we have is insane. Excuse me. Now we've got clear rune. Oh, if we had Yera still, if only. I mean, I feel like I have to, don't I? Red, red key has been very good to me, but clear rune soul of Lilith is something else. We got conjoint. Oh my lord! I I literally cannot see. The amount of fire around her right now. My goodness. Let me go angel deal here. Sensor's kind of an odd one, but I'll take it. And then, I'm a little apprehensive about this, but I think I am going to go and do um, Hush. I think this could be my demise. Hush isn't always easy, but... We'll see. Now, Hemolacria. This creates some interesting problems that I like. <laughs> Wait, I have to see. Does that do anything? Does that do anything? Isaac Luda. And then... Overwrites the Ludovico technique. Um, okay, the Hemolacria overwrites it. That's fine then. Big sad, but fair enough. Okay, got you all upgraded. We can gulp. I think, yes, we get definitely go. Oh, I'm a stupid. Oh, that's a moon card? No. I need a card. That's not a card. That's just a lot and a lot of money. Damn it. Okay. Um, I guess I could try this out. I do have a lot of bombs to play around with here. Damn. 
Right. Let's go for this, I guess. Was Hemalacria a good choice? I think with Herming, yes. I'm going to stand by yes, considering the damage we've just done to him. I don't know when I'm hitting him or not, and I don't know where his shots are on screen, but let's forget all that. Somehow focus on the positive. Okay, okay, okay. Holy shit, look at the amount of damage we just did to him. Oh my goodness. This is obscene. He's like not even firing. This might be the most damage I've ever done to Hush. That might be the quickest Hush kill I've ever had. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Now that's a lot of damage. Okay, we'll continue onwards. We'll skip, skip, skip on our merry way here. <clears throat> Nothing even touched him. I just, I love the amount of bomb upgrades we've got as well this run. We got the sponge. I mean, I could try and pick up all this money for money equals power purposes, but I really don't know if I can be asked. I'm not going to do the golden penny. I'll at least pick up everything else. But this is this is quite quite the wonder and amazement that I've created here. I think. <clears throat> everything just dies instantly. It's beautiful. Clear rune. You cannot have clear rune. No way, no how. Uh, I don't think we need any of those, do we? More bomb upgrades. Holy hell. I wonder why Hush never fired as well. What, what do we have that just completely stops them from shooting. Oh, Hemalacria is one of my favourite items in the game. It's so fun. Okay, Luna was only just reachable there. I'm noticing that Luna isn't actually worth that much to us right now. Like, we're getting 0 0.5 per Luna. Everything dead? Yep. That is a, a tricky looking room right there. Just fire once and everything dies. One time. Okay, this this was a little bit of a trickier room. But euthanasia destroyed most of the spike blocks, so... Still, my point stands. Fire once, everything dies. Friend zone. This is one of my rooms as well, I think. A lot of my rooms today. You're gone. This is eternal. I don't think he's gonna get a chance to really do much. Maybe is it the fire's blocking shots? Is that's what is that's what's happening? Wait, what? I think I hit him out of his uh out of his attack. Is that even possible? Apparently. Yeah, look, he did one beam and then just stopped. Okay, that works for me. We do have the key to do Mega Satan, so we'll try it out. <laughs> My reflection. Hey, money equals power. It was worth it. I don't think Isaac's heart or my reflection are very good ideas, to be honest. I'm surprised we haven't been fire minding ourselves more often than I am. You're still alive? Okay, you are one segment. 
chemical peel. Ooh, we got a corrupted item. When you fire a tier, chance to convert all pickups in the room in uh, to 4.44, then use Breath of Life. Okay, the fact that it says use Breath of Life means I don't think we can take this fruitcake is pretty awesome. Because it won't, won't it using Breath of Life get me killed? I'm, think, I'm, I'm thinking that it will. Yeah, fruitcake's going to be pretty insane. Probably going to cause some self-damage at some point, I'm sure, but we'll deal with that when we come to it. Oh my gosh. Just like, that's the thing, if we kill something, we just have invincibility for so long. That means we can stay safe from all of our explosions. Look at the amount of ghosts. Analog stick. Silver poly on there. Yera. Hello. Right, we just need to find a chest and then we can uh, start yerroring. Right. Yera. And we come back over here and we grab this. And we do that. And that yeras again. Okay, nice. And then honestly, we're not going to get too much more use out of this. Then we go like that. And we yera. I think we've got one more yera, right? So we need one more card or pill. A leech. Just get rid of Blue Baby while he's here. Remember, we don't have invincibility over fighting this guy. What do we do now? He spawns some flies. There you go. He's pretty much dead. What's this? For seven seconds, if you lack red health, uh, the duration is two seconds each. Minute. Okay, so we can use that as well. This should proc Yera one more time. I think. It did. Good stuff. That should be spun. I don't even know how that's going to work, but I'm going to take it. Okay, it's caused some shenanigans. Dirty mind as well. Tier game. I'm not taking tier game. Tier game is great, but it can break things. I'm not taking tech two either. Um... Bonus damage based on speed and shot speed. Okay. Continuing is pretty good here. Oh, we're out of keys. Damn it. Um, let's check that other secret room over there. And I think we just go back. Okay. I think we are very good to go now. That's a big old, big old pill. Right, let's do this thing. We have a pill just to keep us alive as well, because of that trinket that we smelted. I think with I think with Lacrophagy this will insta kill in some cases, right? Because Lacrophagy has that glitch, has like the instant damage glitch. I think that will proc sometimes, right? I don't know what's going on right now. Don't even ask. I'm I'm very surprised the game hasn't crashed yet. In fact, I should have uh, exited out the game to make sure that I didn't crash it, and I didn't. Because there seems to be some infinite cycles going on here. Like if I had like once and all that happened. Oh, this is eternal. I didn't even fucking realize. <laughs> Thank you for the attack fly. 
I didn't even realize this was the Eternal version. I'll be honest, I didn't even realize. Okay, we did lose our Holy Mantle there, but we literally one-shot him, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, Lacrophage is really broken. <laughs> Always take Lacrophage. It's very busted. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that one, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.